Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Welcome Monday. to the podcast. Dude, what do you got on your phone there, Jer? Deleting everybody stuff. Everybody wants to know. I'm deleting. That's what happened. What'd you delete? Uh, all the spam emails that come through so that I don't get, <laughs> so they don't show up in the mix of everything else. Many. Spammer. Some spam emails from signing up for Wayfair for our company and stuff like that, you know, like <laughs> signed up for Wayfair seven years ago. Yeah, all and, the couch deals. Yeah, exactly. What's Wayfair? Oh, the, the uh, furniture, furniture stuff. Yeah. yeah, which, I mean, mm-hmm. if you just, they have a lot, actually. I, I, <laughs> it turns they got some pretty good they shit, actually. They have a bunch of good shit. You yeah. just have to, I mean, I bought my home couch on that. It's, it's like, nice and designy. Yeah, hey, happy Monday. That's all. I don't really have anything else on my phone except for notes for my friends. Oh, yeah? Basecamp notes. Yeah, I mean, what we were just talking about, right? Goals for... Goals for the quarter. Goals for next quarter. Goals for the quarter. I'm I'm pumped. This is how I... Good, I hang on, let me get my notes. Yeah, get pumped. I can see the pump. He's running. <laughs> okay, what do your notes say? Well, I'm trying to figure out... So one of the things that I'm always trying to figure out is where the fuck do I fit in in, in life and work mm. and, you know, relationships. Classic us. In everything. <laughs> Shorts or no shorts? Shorts or no shorts? Dude, you saw me in shorts at the beach. Yeah. You're on the internet in shorts, aren't you? Little girl <laughs> loves the beach. Yeah, there. Chuck sent a comment over. Rare comment. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Chuck, rare, was, on, Chuck was on Instagram. I saw rare shorts, to the, rare shorts you went to refuge. Every once in a while, Chuck pops up on Instagram, dude. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, a treat. Yeah. It's a treat. It's a real treat Big for everybody. Things. So I think, so this is kind of where my mind was at, because we were talking about QC cupping and calibration and Huge then fan. score sheet and walking the floor. Yeah. And I feel like those would be cool places for like us to collaborate on like on a regular basis with the people who are in them be super fun you know what i mean yeah because there's this uh, one of the things that happens when your company grows is you kind of get pulled away from the things that used to do a lot of yeah absolutely so i haven't really touched coffee in any kind of intense way yeah in a while or you know like drink it or like drop in on something taste some espresso but not like deeply involved in the process Mm -hmm. um so just kind of getting closer to that again feels, I don't know, feels refreshing. Absolutely. Honestly, getting able to hang out with you, dude. It's always I can, a treat. I can tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a fun time. Well, so what are those if you dig in? You kind of ran through them quickly. Well, okay. So WTF, context, the floor. Context, we <laughs> just had our, you know, we just had our Monday owner meeting to kick in the, the freaking new week. Every week, 9, 9 a.m. without fail. Mm-hmm. I was late today because we were talking to one of our another owner of another company. Yeah, another bo. Yeah, so QC and cupping calibration. I mean, so Jared, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna set you up. So we're getting ready to go to SCA. We talked about this a little bit a couple weeks ago on the podcast, but whenever there's these like moments in time where you get a, like a super spark and you go in deep. Yeah. So SCA is kind of oh, one of those times. Yeah. So Jared's all fired up. He's like, okay, we're going to take coffee to SCA for sure. We're going to make some espresso. We're probably gonna make some brewed coffee. And sure are. we're always thinking about like, how do we optimize the coffee? But there's these little times that spark this experimentation, right? So you're just sure. kind of like, what would the best possible representation of this look like? And how can I try and tweak some things and, and set that up? And there's a few things that, you've revisited that we've done in the past and mm. there's some new ground that you're pushing into but it's kind of taking that essence of experimentation and just applying it to the whole company like right. what what does it look like to connect all of the dots because there's you know there's roasting there's green coffee there's um mark and the director of quality control there's like a bunch of different arms and we have to all be aligned and that's tricky when you have a big company the octopus yeah talking about connecting the octopus so it's yeah i love that stuff i mean that's I, my brain loves to live in those places of trying to find through lines and connection pieces it's always challenging i think it's different and we're you know and talking about goals you have multiple heads of people and departments working together to do a thing you know and calibrate what it looks like you have a quality control system that currently exists and then an evolved vision of what it could look like and all that space in between and all the hands that touch it. Yeah. I'm picturing a lot of hands on, but I'm also picturing, you tell me what you think about this, some, maybe some breakout groups. Absolutely. Almost after hours or special times where there's like a half hour, hour set aside. And it's essentially kind of like a, um, a class or a educational opportunity with the whole roastery green QC. Like if we took the quarter and looked at it, it's like, right. okay, there's work that has to be done every day. 
But then I, one of the big challenges with a bigger group is how do you make people feel like they're engaged in the process? Mm -hmm. And that's generally not doing something and then telling them what you did and saying like, you have to do this now, right? It's like yeah. pulling them along the whole way. So mm -hmm. how can we make it interesting and fun and to where they're participating the whole time and not just getting handed down an yeah, ultimatum? Yeah, the finished product. Right, it's like, you roast like this now. Yeah. <laughs> have a good time. Yeah, it's better taste chocolatey, you motherfucker. <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, I think that's, yeah, you can't do that. Drink it. We can, yeah, what I've been doing so far, and again, we're at the beginning of the journey though, is you'll roast with them, and then you'll have them roast the same thing. They'll be roasting, you'll kind of be suggesting what should happen and could happen during that roast. So they're kind of physically doing it. Then we're taking that and tasting it. So, you know, the first week, I was pulling the coffee and Eli was tasting with me. And then the second week he was pulling it and I was tasting and we were making suggestions and then sharing shots that were whatever, however they were with Andre and Soren. They'd get like one. They didn't get every coffee because they're still working, right? So mm -hmm. again, we're like, we're pre-combining everybody and we're just kind of mixing and giving them a little taste, but giving them verbal feedback and then letting these people kind of live in their departments. We also then, we did run a cupping of all these coffees side by side and it was interesting there like to see how the coffees were perceived and to taste like whatever it was the last time we podcasted before i went out of town we cupped nell and guzman but it was only one one of them was only one day off roast and it's currently the one that's on fire and we cupped it on the table and everybody's like oh i like this other one better and i'm like i think this is the one it's just a little bit of experience i was like you can taste a lot of complexity and all this that and the other and they're like i don't know kind of just can't tell and it's like two weeks later we're tasting it and they're like holy shit this is the one what do you think but that's that's just that, experience. yeah that's time the, tenure and that's the cal that's the calibration opportunity yeah. right it's to how are you approaching that in the moment when people are saying i think this one's the one and you're like nah this well i'm is saying the one. no and i'm trying to validate what they're tasting to kind of help them see that I'm understanding that, then I'm also trying to pull them to say, hey, are you tasting the complexity in this? And are you tasting beyond the freshness and like looking for what could be in here? And that somewhat is just going to take time and practice and somewhat is, I mean, it's all that. It's actually, that is all it is, right? You have to taste over and over and over again to be able to say, and and through the, the as the coffee ages, right? You have to taste it at the beginning. You're going to have to taste yeah. it in the middle. You have to taste it at the towards the end and then you have to taste it when it's gone too far and yeah. that's been interesting too like, right if you're only tasting things seven yeah you know, three yeah four five six seven days off roast then it's like you don't have those you you're not know. building that muscle of what mm -hmm. things taste like well i mean same I, day, I was victim to it same day day off yeah. roast yeah. how do you approach that at origin it's like you're cupping really fresh coffees right maybe they yeah, yeah. roasted it in a barrel roaster yeah, yeah. yesterday no, or something it's a hundred percent what jared's talking about and is uh it is a skill and like a muscle to build up over time and there it's really cool because you can so right you can go to origin taste right like really sensorially log all of that and then when when you've bought those coffees brought them here roasted them you can see what they turn into mm. and it's like building that that like memory and that connection between what you're tasting at origin and how those same coffees turn out when we're production roasting them and you do that over time and you start to build this muscle of like being able to see the potential for what these coffees can be when they get you know get to our roastery yeah you're essentially predicting the future <laughs> which is pretty <laughs> sick i mean it ha it still happened to me and i had tasted the matondo and I had some different roasts of it and I tasted one and I was like, oh, that's going to be too deep. It's too dark. Like I, or whatever, not dark's not the right word, but I just, I went too far in some areas. It's not doing what I wanted it to do. And that was like seven, eight days. And then we came back and Eli was setting it up and actually our friend Ian Sane was visiting. So I was surprised us actually. He's an old friend in coffee. He was in the cafe. And so I, I texted Eli. I was like, hey, I'm going to be five minutes late. I'm bringing somebody over, but you can get started. And he put that same coffee in and in my mind, when I was getting over there, I wasn't going to actually pull that coffee. He put it in to try it and it fully had settled. Like a lot of the freshness and the roast had faded and it was actually really, it was almost where I wanted it to be, but a lot closer than I imagined. And so 
you have to do that diligence if you want to have a QC program and, a, and an understanding of what coffee can be and, and actually, you know, optimize it. And that leads into if we're going to prepare a coffee for SCA, I now know that whatever curve I need to pick for that coffee, no matter how light or dark it is, I want it roasted in such a way that it's going to hit SCA somewhere between yeah. 12 days and peak. 14 days yeah. so Peaking. that it's going to like peak through the weekend. Peak through the weekend. And we know that stuff through barista competition as well is like we would find our coffees and find that but not only that we'd say hey we roast it i want you to put it in the bucket for sealed in the bucket for the night and then i want you to put it right into the bag fully sealed and we're not going to open it and then we're going to open it the night before practice or yeah the night before practice and then we're going to dial it in the next morning and that's perfect you know and that's a level of understanding your product that's really cool and fun for me Dude, shout out to Kyle Glanville. Back in the day, the when, thing. when he was at Intelli, yeah, they would have their big batch buckets that they would, you know, fully seal and they would drill and tap the bucket lids with the one way valve <laughs> that would go yeah. in the bag. Yeah. So he'd be actively degassing in, in the in bucket. Like a really large amount. Yeah. I thought that was a cool idea. I was like, damn, you little guy. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, back to your you point. Little tiny guy. It will be that. It'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of learning together and i think with that there's osmosizing right and you're calibrating and then building the system and then continuing to bring everybody together more and more through the process as we solidify yeah it's kind of like you need both sides you need that osmosis where you're soaking it in where you're kind of feeling it you get the emotion of learning a new thing and then you need the solid SOP that backs it up because mm-hmm. those emotions yeah. will fade and you'll just start to kind of be like, oh, I'm going to try this out. People I'm come slip in. Slip here. And yeah, new staff for sure. Mm-hmm. But what you really want is like creating that culture of everyone that's there at any given time is doing things in the same way and they know why. They mm-hmm. have the reasons for doing it. And mm-hmm. that's, that's like a cool, cool little restart. I don't know. Thinking about those things over the scope of a quarter feels nice to me because mm-hmm. I feel like in the other jobs or like just time i want shit to be done as soon as possible because i'm incredibly impatient i just i just am uh, and i'm working on it but you can see it so why isn't it there well (laughs) it turns out it's not often the best way it's not dude it's terrible (laughs) i it's i mean it mostly just creates anxiety for me yeah you know what i mean because nobody else is stressed out by these things or not as much as i am and i can see what needs that and i'm just like dude okay and if i just maybe and then i'll just work really like a maniac for three or four days and then Burn. don't get as far as I want and I'm roasted and it's just, yeah, it's terrible. So it's cool to have these quarterly benchmarks where it's like, okay, cool. We have three months to figure this out. So kind of plan this little arc and then it's just, you get the, I get more joy out of the process yeah. when I can see the longer term goal and there's not like I'm staring down the barrel of a gun, like do this shit yeah, next week. The journey is actually a good time. It actually is a good time. Yeah. Which I'm, that's the goal. That's <laughs> the goal, dude. I'm like, uh, dude, I ha- I'm just trying to really lean into that. It's like, how can I have fun with this thing? Because there's so many ways that it can go wrong, mm. you know? Well, and there's, there's so many goals. There's so many things we can want to achieve. And that then beca- it becomes like less enjoyable as you're just like, goal. Okay, yeah. what's next? Goal. goal. Okay, what's next? That's, that's just exhausting. And it's like... If we can stretch it to where we're enjoying the journey along the way, it's like, I think that's w- way more, I don't know, that's way more where I want to live than like just, yeah. st- just trying to hit all these goals. Goal, like I got to get to the goal and stressing yourself out on the way to the goal. And then you get the goal and you're like, okay, I'm not even going to enjoy it. Right. Next one. Stress and, to the next goal. Yeah. And you get there and you're not even happy. Like when it happens, you're just like, yeah. cool. It's Did not, it. yeah. You're not thankful that it <laughs> happened or excited. You're just like, take it for granted because that's just something that is supposed to happen yeah like, that should have been there the whole time like yeah i don't like, know that man. turns out there's another way <laughs> there is another way it's a lot harder there's another way i know i gotta build in some real good rituals around celebration yeah maybe that could be q3 q4 guys or yeah but also again i mean if you're celeb- but also if you're celebrating along the way yeah right it's like then i think there's less of a need for like stop goal we did it hooray oh, it's because sure. like it just everything becomes more of like a flow that is being intentionally like enjoyed you know you're working hard you're enjoying it you're wrecking you know you're recognizing 
what you're doing along the way. Yeah. And then cool, we've hit the goal and that sets us up for like the next journey that we want to take. And it's not like bam, 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 bam. Let's play Madonna holiday and talk about celebrating <laughs> at the end of uh, every quarter. I'm mean, like, okay, guys, just holiday. start the, yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah. Celebrate. We kind of have been celebrating at the end of every quarter. Holiday. We've got oh, our yeah. quarterly oh, yeah. staff meeting that we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's been, it's been really kind good. of like a celebration. It feels pretty good. Mm, that will be fun. Yeah. At least it that's feels. That's coming up. Yeah. Well, the last one was a lot of fun. Feels good to me. A lot of love. Got some tears out of people. It was great. Really? Uh, nice. that, was, that I was told. I mean, it made us tear up to think about those people loving us, Damn. saying nice things. I'm like, yeah. That's awesome. They do love you. Yeah, it's, it's not real. just, yeah. We aren't just making it up. That's so cool to hear those things. It's just some, that uh, guy I was telling you about, Josh, the mm -hmm. guest that comes in, he said the old version of our mission when he was talking to me. It was crazy. So this guest comes in, he sits in front of the espresso machine every day. I've never talked to him, just like maybe said hi here and there. And he comes up to me and he's like, you're one of the owners, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I just need to tell you, I don't know what your involvement is here. I don't know what you do in the day to day. <laughs> but your team, all these people are incredible. They're just, they're on another level from everywhere else in town and you can feel it. And I just want to let you know that I appreciate it so much. It's a big part of my day, whatever you guys are doing. Just keep doing it. He's like, you can see it right now. I'm like beaming. I came in and I'm leaving happier than I than I came in. And I was like, oh yeah, that's actually Check. one of the little <laughs> little things we used to say when yeah. we were setting things up. It's like, oh, like you know, distilled down. It's like if we can leave people feeling happier than we found them, you know, we we know we're pointed in the right direction. Yeah, it's just kind of cool, kind of cool to hear works, that, man. Yeah, I really like. I love that concept. Still, I yeah, think it's really powerful. It was it was pretty radical. I was I was pretty stoked on that. I had, uh, yeah, we had people at, outside of Portola as well. A guy named uh, Matthew. <laughs> Matthew? He's all, you can call me Matt or you can try to exp uh, express it because it's like French. Uh, mm. Then, yeah, but. Yo, I don't want to fuck with French Mathieu, people. Sorry, dude. Matthew. Anyway, do you know the him and some homies from Portland and they'd, I was sitting there with my girls and it was the same thing. He's all, hey, you're Jared, right? And he goes, it's kind of weird because I've been listening to you talk to your girls, but I've been listening to the podcast for you guys. And <laughs> yeah. just, he's, yeah, they were on a road trip and they were the same thing. They're like, man, the people here are really great. Like, kudos 10 out of 10 and we had a good talk about life and learning and he was asking you like what what are, what am i learning and working on now is where we're at and we had a cool conversation which is a lot of what we talk about here yeah. you know how do you help other people do the things well basically the whole conversation that we just had about calibration and talking in some capacity and then we talked about the burrito and then he came over to swift street and he was like, turns out this burrito is life-changing. <laughs> Text me that. I was like, well, thanks, man. I thought you were leaving town, but that's awesome. You stopped at one more cafe on the way out of here. So that's it, tight. the team Didn't is, resist. yeah. And I got to share about Alyssa too, which was cool. And knowing her since she was like six years old. And I want to do some coffee tourism. Like uh, another city? It's funny, well, yeah. That's what Chicago I feel like LA be. sounds like a good time right now. It's pretty fun. Nice weather. Nice weather. Warmer. It'll be uh yeah ten miles in two hours. It's that's the hard part. We'll get it right. Let's yeah, get there we'll, early. We'll figure it out. Yeah, uh, did I am bummed to miss Chicago? Uh, I really enjoy SCA. I feel like I get so much out of like talking to everybody and yeah, just everybody that connects with us. But uh, yeah, it's uh daughter's theater theater performance that weekend. So what are they? What go. are they performing? It's the Wizard of Oz. Oh, okay. So I gotta. Gotta choose family on uh, this round. Do it. Family I did first, that last baby. year. Yeah, I know. And then the pandy. What are you looking forward to seeing there? What do you think you're gonna get into? Oh, uh, what am I? I don't know Chicago at all. It's so I have a lot of people saying, general. "Yeah, I want to see." I mean, there's a lot of friends and people who I just haven't seen since 2019. I mean, it's a long time for me when I've gone every year. So I think I'll get a lot from catching up with people and where they're at and what they're going through that I, I mostly get a lot from that i think i'll love to be of any kind of service and answer any kind of questions i enjoy that um miranda who we worked with for a while oh, yeah. started uh helped start a little not a little i say that that sounds a horrible. little but a started, little toy I think business it's a small a small group of people i and i'm still kind of learning about it but they started a a group of like women business folk that are going to help mentor and you wanted me to stop by they're putting together a place basically where it's like a, it's just like a hangout like 
Wi-Fi chill Where drink is it? coffee. It'll be at the, it's like on the floor somewhere. Oh, they're setting up something at SCA. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, um, but she's been doing really awesome work I've seen and put in some legit work. So go say hi and catch up with some people that just like have worked with and connected with over the years that I just haven't seen. Like that's where I've gotten so much of my energy. Yeah. Um, I mean, Noah, Cafe Imports, Art Presso folk. Yeah, yeah, that's the people what who I have miss. competed over the years. I don't know, people like Will Frith, homies that are just like you, there's people in the world that you like vibe with and you're like, I would be friends with them and like hang out, but they don't live here or anywhere near me. <laughs> you know? So there's a number of people like that that I hope to see. I don't know who's gonna be there, you know. How about you? I don't know. I mean, obviously eating food in another city is no one of my favorite clue. things. No freaking clue. That's it. And I wanna drink some coffee. I wanna prepare some coffee on a share serving coffee. coffee is super fun mm -hmm. and we're taking team members that have never that haven't been to sca before which is always dude kira's fucking juice treat. bro she's so yeah. pumped i'm like so stoked yeah eli so genesis rad. Oh, eli all... and genesis are gonna have the that they're, oh, they're all gonna have their fucking minds melted they're gonna be so amped yeah it's yeah. great so amped like i i don't know i can't same yeah i mean gonna, same they're gonna That's... be like ear to ear yeah i think just being there, I mean, it's going to be great. What was the I'm first like SCA city. you ever went to? Long Beach. Long Beach. Yeah. Dude, that was LBC. The first time. I met Lem Butler there. 1992. Uh, yeah, I, Back in 86. Practice, <laughs> practice next to Bill Will. And he, he was all, you got a cool coffee tattoo, man. And I was like, thanks, dude. And then he tried to help. And then that was great. It was a fun weekend. So much bigger than I anticipated. Is that I Heather won? For the second time? Yeah, Heather won that one boss dude She's boss yeah because everybody thought bill will was gonna win and then he didn't because that was after his that coffee was every year that was the coffee caviar year if i'm not no mistaken. that wasn't the coffee was it the caviar year after year. that oh it was that i think that was the year after that i think long beach was the one where he didn't even make it into the finals it was the scoring debacle year oh wait yeah kyle got second right that year there was like some That's weird been a while. uh no did kyle win that one no, Kyle didn't win Long Beach. Kyle won what was Minneapolis, it? Minnesota. Oh, yeah, because then Minneapolis was the next one. That's right, because I was supposed to go to Minneapolis the next one. And I remember I was driving Drew. with Drew in the car, yeah. and you were just like, I can't go. I got to work. Yeah, we, were, op we were opening Verve. We couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. I, I want to go. I just yeah, couldn't. There was no employees. Yeah, that's still what, 41st? It was just 41st. That was, that was early. Yeah, it was 2000. No, that was no 2000. Seabright even. Uh, it was, oh, that was no, 2008. It was 08, so it was er, it was probably because that was the year you won. Yes, regionals, regionals, yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, mm -hmm. that was like I went and competed at regionals over three days. I literally prepared like Thursday for a Saturday routine, and it was horrible. I was not stoked, Turns but out, did my best. Yeah, it was tough. That was very stressed out. That was hilarious. No dude. sleep, no life. But anyways, yeah. Then then we were I, trying to go, but there was no team members to work at Verve, so we just uh, kept working at Verve. <laughs> <laughs> kept opening the company. <laughs> it was just there's nothing else to do and there's only five of you. It's like, sorry guys. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Maybe there was seven of us at the time, but there wasn't enough. <laughs> oh man. I miss those early days over there. It was a really cool vibe. There was, we were, yeah, focused. There was a lot going on. That was all I did. I know, <laughs> I remember you brought me in the back and you had the case of emergency. I was like, that you bought for the staff. You're like, this is so nobody gets sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we have to survive. I was like, no okay, one can go. No one can leave. Uh uh. I Man. made one mistake of drinking too much once, and I was like, this is the worst. I had like, Sean had to come in and cover for me. I was, I was Wait, like, you drank too much emergency? No, no, no. Sorry. And drank life. too much, just drank yeah, too much. Yeah, because I'd come from, yeah, Chico, and I was like, oh, I can go out. I'm fine. And I hadn't, you know, had drinks at all, and I was like, so hungover. There's so many the fun worst. little stories in there. So like Sean, super down with Sean. Yeah. Always like Sean. He's a really interesting guy though. And I remember when he was roasting the coffee because we roast next door. Sorry, that was our he, slogan. He wasn't the most forthcoming with information. You know, he liked his craft and he kind of kept everything to himself. And I would go over there and talk to him and we were always cool, but I was trying to get him to tell me what he was doing with the coffee and I just couldn't get anything out of him. It, it was, trade secret. I just like super frustrated. <laughs> you work here, but trade like, secret. I was just like, dude, I'm just trying to understand. This we're is, on the like, same espresso team. Espresso better, right? <laughs> and I'm an annoying barista, whatever, dude. So 
we were i was um at the register it was super slow and i can't remember who i was talking to like it might have been jade or it might have been megan or something but i was just talking shit about him i was just like i'm over there fucking sean won't tell me shit he's just like doing his own thing da -da 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 -da. and then he like peeks his head out he was in the hallway <laughs> Like right around the corner, <laughs> he heard the, the whole thing and he just like looks at me and just walks away. And I was like, fuck, dude. Oh my God. So like my shift ended and I was like, I got to go next door. So I like go next door and I was like, hey man. He's like, yeah, that was pretty fucked up. <laughs> and I was like, fair. That's a, that's a fair statement. I shouldn't have talked shit to you behind your back. Like that is fucked up. I also think it's pretty fucked up that you won't tell anything, anything yeah. about the coffee. I just want to know. Like, I, I'm not. Trying, I directly asked. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. You yeah. Know? And you know, we we chopped it up for twenty or thirty minutes and worked it out and left, and it was all good. But it was so just, funny. I don't know. I just always remember that day. And he's someone that I always, I always felt like I understood him. Like I never had a problem with him or anything because he's just to me, he's like a pure artist. Yeah. Did you, you know? get? It's just did challenging. you get the? Inf did you? Did he tell you the no. information? <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but we we fully understood each other after that it was full he's understanding. just like no i'm never gonna tell you and well i think what it, it's yeah like you I, do your thing i'll I do would mine work with them. it'd be almost like it, you would almost just have to tell him like this is just what i want more of in the coffee and just let him try to do it or do it yeah. he was like a trust that's me how guy. It worked. yeah he's like trust me just tell me what you want which is really and i i feel like that is pure artist right he, i did trust him in some in I trusted but you still him are with interested. I trusted him with roasting as yeah. much as I could trust anybody, which I can't actually have full trust in anybody because I'm kind of a control freak. <laughs> so when he's roasting my coffee for competition, it's like I just want to know everything. Like, you know, I want to know like exactly what's happening. And he was approaching it from the other angle, which was like, dude. It doesn't matter. You just need to let your taste be the guide, and like, and he would say right, that too. He's all, you right just batch. need to make it good. And I'm just like, okay, good. respect. But I still like, if there's something we can work on together, you know, because there's no curve. There was mm. curves, but there was less. Um, were there? Were you guys logging? There curves? was. no. I don't think it wasn't you were logging curves. Sorry. You guys definitely weren't running Cropster. Mm, it was. We were, like, like, we were logging. Uh, we were logging numbers, like, like spreadsheet like by spreadsheet hand, style. Yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like the classic, like gas up, gas down at, charge at. Yeah. Time on the whatever. funky little both, both the numbers in Vira or L actually yeah anyway L twelve yeah. or whatever L twelve yeah. yeah which is just its own thing anyway L twelve and SF one yeah that that shit was wild. Yeah. yeah, I always remember that day. I was like, dang it, dude. Like those weird confrontations at work when you just <laughs> really have to work it out with your coworker. There's no way to avoid it. You know what I mean? Well, you we had a lot of passionate people in a small place. Yeah. And that's tough. Everybody it usually comes out better opinion. from those For sure. conversations, well, we got right? Better. For always. sure. Like we that's where. Good. I mean, I, I kind of miss. I mean, it works. You want to chop it up, bro? Bro, I really hate when you're. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's like look, I got my notes. He has some notes. What did I have some notes? <laughs> Stuff Charles does it pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, when you clear the air, it's yeah. it's kind of nice. And you know, it was cool too because we were just kind of left to our own devices. There certainly wasn't any manager that was gonna you know connect the dots for us or anything. <laughs> they're just out there, dude. <laughs> You're just doing whatever you were doing. All of us were going after it, just as long as it was clean and tasted good. Forty-two yeah. second melters were dialed. 42 second shot. 42 second banger. Like 23 grams in. Yeah. It's like barely fitting in the yeah, port filter. Yeah, I was going to say, you're like 24 5 sometimes. Welding your own port filter. Super slow. Oh, you bang it a lot dude. in a Tampa 20 gram hard. basket. Yeah. yeah, dude, just because you can see the screw in the there. Grind's so it's fine, too. Yeah. It's fine, bro. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> drip, drip, drop. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other funny, weird stories that happened Plenty at them, 41st. Dude. I'm sure you have a bunch of them. Yeah, it's fine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Plenty of stories. No comment. Plenty of stories. Stories all around, sitting there drinking Boston lattes. We'd call them. That's a Boston latte. It's, it's it's Sam Adams Boston Lager in a sixteen ounce cup when you first opened. Oh yeah, because <laughs> we'd be there from five a.m. till got to do those Chico hours. Close at ten p.m. in a town that's dead by seven. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so just five to ten, ten thirty closes, and you're sitting there from like whatever eight to ten, sipping on a sixteen ouncer. Man, I or whatever, a twelve ounce or a sixteen ounce. All right, cup. I thought you said you were drinking it at five a.m. Nah, for the open. Nah. Okay, we the, would be the, ripping the, music though. <laughs> Sean would always play like 
the ultimate disco dance club, super loud at 5 a.m. for the guests. And nice. I was into it at the time for sure. It was really fun. Raver Jer. Yeah, dude. Can- candy it's, Raver Jer, it's, dude. It's... Clean Candy Raver that I've never eat, but pretended like I did. <laughs> glow sticks in the shop? Absolutely. Yeah, no, not in the shop, dude. <laughs> no. Remember when you glow stick my espresso cups together? Probably, dude. <laughs> you were Probably did. The I tried to show day. your Terra cups, the special ones. Cups. Yeah. Had to get them to send some specials. Platinum, platinum lip ones. We were yeah, dude, training. We were like leaving in two days or something, and you grabbed awesome. two of them, and you were like doing that. <laughs> glow stick thing and just like clink together and i was thinking, like what dude? the fuck dude we shot onto the ground and <laughs> so broke. Bummed. i was like so sad i was like so weird cry. i was like what are you doing bro these are great questions what was i doing <laughs> <laughs> this is just this is where adhd met coffee lots of it oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's do a move show off for these guys jonathan, jonathan withers and ian ian levine taste the beans did we get withers on the podcast i told him he said he'd, he's down That'd be cool. I don't yeah. see him anywhere though. We've been having a uh, good good chat. So yeah, you know, he's, he's in the area. A, yeah, he's got a good point of view for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. Maybe cool I'll ones. invite him next week. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We'll that would be in. fun. It'll be like an eight hour banger. We'll just talk <laughs> about literally everything. Yeah. Bring Monsieur Alan Withers from <laughs> from A to Z. Yeah, that'd be great. Is this I'm a short say. podcast? I don't even know how long we've been here. Can be. Just about a been half flow hour. state all day. You know, guys. I think you are in flow state like all the time. No, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's weird. I wonder if we should. I wonder if we should podcast before we do the meeting. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah, you know, that's probably the way to go. Yeah, could just kind of warm up and then we can get into business because sometimes after the meeting, Let's it feels get like down to business. business. We just got to business. Yeah, it feels like we it's just got classic. to business. Yeah, it's the classic podcast. Like you already talked, and then you're talking now again. You're talking again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're really breaking down barriers over here. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you're talking walk the floor, though, I did notice it at Disney. I was at the, there with the girls. There's always twos. They walk in twos. So, oh, really? Uh-huh. We had different they perspectives. They walk in twos. Yep. And then they probably, yeah, they calibrate, I'm sure. Or maybe one of them is like in training or whatever, less senior, maybe not. But they walk in twos for sure. Always. Hmm. I mean, I'll have to note that. Another perspective if we wanted was if we ever wanted like uh, Dulce to come talk, like she just did her first solo green bind trip to guatemala That'd last cool, week because she just, just passed the queue too yeah so she just she's passed kind of the on queue a journey. she just did led a solo trip to guatemala mm. she's gonna lead the trip to honduras this year and it was Give me yeah. that pen right there i'm gonna write this down so I don't yeah, forget it, it. yeah jot this down it was great like george howe was there in guatemala oh, with G. his Howell? with his daughter damn he's all yeah. did you know that i invented the frappuccino <laughs> <That's> <laughs> do you know right. that i invented <laughs> freezing <laughs> coffee do you know that i invented specialty <laughs> coffee he said he's a he's a he's a real talker that guy. That's I don't story. think I've ever met him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, legend, bro. G yeah. how, dude? Yeah, mind so if I call you Geo? <laughs> First time you meet him, <laughs> George. I'd like to call you Geo. Is that chill? Thanks, <laughs> like my Gio. middle name is George. Do it anyway. We're kind of connected, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, yeah, she was telling us some of the. Yeah, she's got some good stories from the trip. What's his company? Is it just George Howe? It's George, George Howe Coffee. Coffee yeah. Was there another one that he was involved in at some point? Isn't that was the, it the pods? F- Not the pods. Yeah, the, the pods. Frozen. Yeah. Ca, 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 frozen ca, 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 Cometeer. Oh. Yeah, yeah Cometeer. Yep. Is he a part of Cometeer? I think he's the one who helped make Cometeer Cometeer. Yep. No shit. I could be so wrong about that. Really? I, don't know. I thought he froze green coffee. He definitely freezes green coffee. Cometeer has the fucking worst ads on Instagram but ever. Don't they have Seth Rogen? Isn't that the one he's on? I don't know. I think it is. I'm Seth Rogen, and I like to freaking drop a little nug for some in reason. My water. You know, I mean, obviously the algorithm knows exactly who I am. You know, it sees into my soul. <laughs> What's so yours? I, I get commentary coffees popping up. They're like trying to ads. say that I'm a stoner. They like what's that? They're oh, trying to say that I'm a stoner if I get Seth Rogen. Oh yeah, no, mine are just these like annoying influencer people that they're just nobodies, but they're just. Oh, like, I did see those where they're like, like well, this my husband just <laughs> changed yeah, my life. Well, bestcoffeereviews.com. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was just like, what? Best comment here at number three, number twenty twenty four. Hell yeah, dude! Because like, who wouldn't want to just warm up a pod of frozen coffee and then like dump it into a fucking cup that and pretend funny. like you did something cool it's like damn dude get over that shit like <laughs> i don't need any of that in my life dude so that is true i remember those i used to have those ones show up where it was like yeah it was like 
My husband only drinks the best specialty coffee, and I could never get him to have it until this. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like, so. Oh, it reminds me of geez. every commercial I saw in the '80s and '90s yeah. when everything was just like Miracle Blade, Turbo <laughs> Ginsu. It's like this is the best. Tell him what he's won, Jer. Yeah, all that's right. The one. Like, just, well, the no, commentator is Matt Roberts. I don't know who that is. Just over here at Commentator he's Trash sh- Talk Hour. He was a sugar and cream, hold the coffee kind of guy. Hi there, I'm Seth Rogen. And how far <laughs> do we believe that before you bake, you must wake? And there's a <laughs> way to wake than drinking coffee. And that's why we partnered with Cometeer. There you go. Anytime anybody same thing, but anytime anybody says we've partnered with, my brain just turns off. It's like, <laughs> can you imagine? Obviously, it works, or, or you know, they wouldn't be doing it. But we'll like, find out. No, it was. Can you yeah, imagine with. saying, "Hey, it's Jared Truby, and I've, I've partnered, partnered with." Like, once you say "I've partnered with," your like, soul just fucking leaves your body, dude. It's <laughs> gone. It's just out. Like, what are you? I've partnered with the fine people down at. Harry's. Hey guys, Chris from Cat and Cloud here. I'm over here, um, you know. and we've partnered with Beeline Motor Club mm. to bring you fancy cars and fancy coffee together. Together, finally. That took at, forever. At you asked for it, you got it. What do you got over there? In, in, in fact checker. 2014, Roberts presented his prototype to the Godfather of specialty coffee, George Howell. G. Howell. The result was almost G-Hal. what he'd hoped. Hal admitted he was onto something revolutionary, but not before first spitting out the undrinkable brew Roberts had offered him. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Roberts, this is undrinkable. It's on their website. George Howell keeping it way too oh, yeah, real. Oh, got some pics. He's like, you got potential. This tastes like shit, brother. <laughs> Girl, hey, bring it back here real quick. Okay, one more spit take for the photo. Thanks. <laughs> this is the, him spitting it out. I'm first the king time. of the freezer. <laughs> so he probably got with George Howell and they formulated it. Somehow, I so George I'm just reading stuff yeah. and the Arnold website. Schwarzenegger, so that he <laughs> could <laughs> because of all of his experiences, Mister Freeze, Mr. Freeze in Batman. Yeah, the and I think, I think the three of them together <laughs> probably came up with the ultimate plan. I mean, that's a pretty ironclad investor <laughs> group. If you've got George <laughs> Howell and Schwarzenegger, <laughs> Schwarzen- you're pretty much guaranteed yeah, success, dude. right? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. A lot of, there's Absolutely. a lot of avenues you could take it. You know? Absolutely. And now Seth Rogen. <laughs> I just love the process of things, and that's why little frozen coffee nuggets are just so unappealing to me. You know, I've never tasted it, so maybe it's completely delicious. A cup of it. Fast forward when six months when we have planning. frozen coffee nugget things. <laughs> Got to give the people what they want. I'm all, We've I partnered have, with. I, <laughs> well, you know what I mean? It's like I wake up in the morning, and I make myself family. coffee, and I open the bag, and I grind the coffee, and I, you know, pick my brewing yeah, method. You like your ritual. And yeah. then there's three to four minutes of just me making coffee, and I love the way it smells, and I love the way it sounds. I like, you know, you like, I love to hear the grinder. Bonus points: Eleanor loves to turn the grinder on and off now, Thank which awesome. is super fun. Oh. So it's just that moment in time feels very your moment special to yeah. me. Yeah. So I would never. Plop, plop. ever consider replacing it with just warming up a frozen pod and dropping it into some hot water i almost don't care how good it tastes yeah and that's just what i'm after but you know if someone else is after something different that's cool yeah i'm gonna believe you're not the target no target absolutely not demographic yeah. for i'm just kind of explaining my thought product. process so people don't think i'm just hating for fun <laughs> yeah, which totally. i'm hating for fun a little bit but there's <laughs> there's mean, a reason we do behind enjoy it. yeah <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little hating for fun. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with recycling a seltzer commercial and saying, hey, for you and your friend, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Plop, plop, oh, what fizz, a relief fizz. it is. <laughs> and have yourself some commentary. Mm, that'd <laughs> See, be a good... Do they could get you for like an ad roll? Or Absolutely. Little, little if they wanted to, it wouldn't cost you too much. Except for, do they yeah. still make Alka-Seltzer? Absolutely. It's, that also sounds oh, they've so got 80s it. Yeah, too. Yeah. Jeez. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Dang. Sounds awesome. Imagine writing that one. <laughs> it's Imagine, gold. You and your friends. Just, you marketing marketing that, gold. Just, boom. You never knew what it was going to be until you... That was someone really famous who did a lot of other work. I can't remember their name. Really? Yeah, some dude. I, I don't know. The original slogan writer. Original slogan writer. Man, George Howell. that. It was probably George Howell. It was probably George Howell. Before he got into coffee, he was also doing Alka-Seltzer commercials. <laughs> I'm sure he's multi-talented, you know? Gotta be. Most of those business owners can't just do one thing. They do a lot of stuff really well. Mm. 
super smart guy. Mm. Anyway, Guaranteed. comment here if you want to collab. <laughs> just hit us up. <laughs> I'm ready. Specifically, Chris. He's Specifically, looking forward to it. Direct to all your. <laughs> I got a little YouTube your, channel. Yeah, uh, let's do yeah, this. Hit all your communication. Yeah, hit him on that one. We could do a blind cupping. We could brew some coffee, brew some mm. commentary, taste the side by side, and mm. you could prove me wrong. Mm. And it'll See be you great. at Chicago. Yeah, They're gonna, they'll have a booth in Chicago. We can taste some. I actually did it. I remember having a good a good cup, but it was also the classic. Like I'm not buying into this because everybody who is famous in coffee has been told to come over here and tell me it's awesome. And so, like, Ben Timmons right? was like, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's just the same, whatever. I mean, it's, I had a good cup, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And uh, to each their own. That's a great. It's a great ending that, right that's there. That's a great, that's as good as ending as any. Tie the bow. Hey, everyone, that's the podcast for the week. Thanks so much for listening. If you heard something that inspired you, let us know or tell a friend. These are the types of connections that are the most important to us and that we seek to create every day. If there's something you heard and you want to know more about, send us an email to podcast at catandcloud.com or head to our website, catandcloud.com slash podcast and let us know. While you're on our site, check out everything we have to offer. Dive deep into one of our single origin coffees or pick up a little treat for yourself. We have something for everyone, so check it out. Also, find us in the usual places, YouTube, Instagram, we're always there sharing amazing things. All right, that's it. Thanks everyone for being awesome. We'll be back next week. <laughs>